Hey everybody, this is Liz. I'm a farmer and I help Sarah coordinate some of the grants here in the North Central region. If you're working on your application and you got to the section called Contribution to Sustainable Agriculture and you're sort of wondering, well, what do I do about this? I've got tips for you. This section is your chance to explain what makes your project innovative and different from what's already been done. One way we want you to do that is to look at the SARE grant database and show if other people have done research in this area or done education efforts around this topic. And if so, how your project is building on their past work. So the way you're going to do that is to go to northcentral.sare.org, our website. You're going to click on project reports and search the database. And that's going to bring you to a search of SARE funded projects from the past all the way back to 1988. It's a really powerful um, bank of all the information that farmers and ranchers, researchers, educators, and others have gathered via on-farm research, demonstration, and education projects over the years. And you can type in just about any keyword. This is sort of like a Google search, but just of SARE projects. You can also add all sorts of filters, like which region do you want to search? Do you only want to search in the North Central region? Do you only want to search in your state? Do you want to search by project type? Here at SARE, we fund a lot of different projects that vary in scale and um, scope. So like our youth educator projects, those are up to $6,000 and they're led by teachers and other educators. Um, our farmer rancher projects are on farm trials and demonstrations that are farmer led, and those can be from fifteen dollars to $30,000 projects. Um, and that can vary all the way up to our research and education projects. And those can be up to a quarter million dollars and are often university led. So I just point this out because the amount of work you can do with these different budgets and support systems is very different. If you wanna know which type of project you're looking at when you search in the database, you can look at the first three letters of a grant's code number and see what project type it is. Or do you want to search recently funded projects? You know, you're only interested in what's been happening, say, in the last 10 years. If we start with a really general search, we might type in something like roller crimper. Maybe we're a corn and soybean operation that's wanting to integrate more cover crops and not use herbicide to terminate those cover crops. And so we want to have a project about roller crimper. Well, there are 196 projects that have been done around the country on this front. This is a good gut check of if our idea is really innovative or not, or have other people already figured this out and we don't even need to do a SARE project. We can just learn from what they did. Now, I would encourage you to click show all filters and look a little more deeply because 196 reports is a lot to look through, right? So if we just look at what's happening in the North Central region, let's see what happens there. Okay, now we're down to 78 projects found. Okay, so 78 projects is still a lot to look through. Here's a pro tip. If you put quote marks around a phrase that you're looking up, it's going to look for projects that have those two words together, and that might narrow it further. Yeah, now we're down to 28. So I can go through and I can click on these and see if they're similar to what I'm interested in doing. This one's related to dealing with extreme rainfall events. This one's all about soil quality, right? So I can click through to a given project and I can read a little bit more about it. If you have questions about using the SARE database to look for past research, let us know. And good luck with your section on contribution to sustainable agriculture.